Well, when it comes to jobs in aerospace, probably no one is better suited to speak on the issue than my next guest. In addition to being a director for governmental relations for the Boeing Company, Steve Hendrickson chairs the Oklahoma Governor's Council for Workforce and Economic Development, and he joined us earlier here in the studio. So Steve, as we've seen some constriction in jobs in aerospace around the country, we're actually seeing some growth here in Oklahoma. Why is that? There's a several reasons for that. I think the kind of workforce uh, in Oklahoma is just huge. The availability of folks that we have owing primarily to the largest commercial repair and maintenance facility in the world in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the largest military repair facility at Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma. And don't forget the FAA Moroni Center in Oklahoma City. All are big uh, locus for a lot of uh, the growth that's going on in the state. Those are, those are just ideal anchors for the kinds of uh, job growth that we're seeing. The Boeing Company is bringing 550 jobs into the site. Tell us a little bit about those jobs. These uh, two programs primarily, uh, the B-1 Bomber and the C-130 program. And the C-130 program is uh, basically it's a gunship. And what it does is it goes into harm's way. And what our engineers do is write the software lines of code that make the command that the pilots give the uh, ordnance on that airplane, uh, the information they need to hit the required targets. On the B-1 program, a B-1 is a long-range combat bomber, supersonic bomber, and what our engineers do on that uh, particular program is what's called embedded software. It makes the software on the actual airplane itself talk to the various systems and to the weapon systems on that airplane. So these jobs that you're hiring for, typically they sound like engineering jobs. What's the pay? Uh, high five digits, low six digits, depending on qualifications and experience. Okay. Now. You work in multiple states. How important are state incentives to attract jobs like this? Incentives can play, and in this case did play, a pivotal role. What happens is there's many states that have the talent that can offer up uh, you know, certain high-skilled jobs and, and uh, when a company is looking to relocate, uh, basically what we are doing at the Boeing Company is doing the, making the changes we have to have to compete in the competitive business environment we have today. To the extent that we're doing work today in some high cost areas, it makes sense for us to look at lower cost areas. Uh, one of the things that contributes to the cost competitiveness in Oklahoma is the suite of incentives that the state and local governments offer. Oklahoma offers some of the most unique incentives in the country. All right, well, thank you so much, and thank you for what you do for the site. Steve Hendrickson with the Boeing Company.